Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. This is going to be an update on the Rise of Kyoshi uh, Unicorn Crate, uh, the kind of loot box that was going to come out uh, where you get a signed copy of the book uh, plus some other stuff, I, I talked about this um, uh, a while ago, and now we have news that it's actually been cancelled. I, I, I found out about this because I got an email saying that my order was cancelled, so I looked up about it, and they put out a pretty big statement about this, and it's an absolute mess. But before I get into it, the main thing to say is that I get the impression that very little of this is Unicorn Crate's uh, problem. They did what they could, and the blame goes on Abrams Books, the publisher of this upcoming book, and Nickelodeon. Uh, slash Viacom, I suppose. And we'll, we'll get into it here. Here is the statement about it. Um, so, hello unicorns. It is a great disappointment that I write to you today. Many of you pre-ordered the special edition Avatar box that was slated for shipment in mid-July. I was very excited for this and spent many months on planning and preparation. As you can guess by the tone of this email, it has not gone as planned. When I made the announcement about this box, the publisher of the novel Avatar The Rise of Kyoshi had given me the green light to put this box together and said Nickelodeon had given it the thumbs up. They said uh, the copies I purchased would be signed and that I could create whatever items I wanted slash uh, cho choose to work with whichever artists I wanted, etc. Um, shortly after I got the green light, I started taking pre-orders. Then about a week later, they said they couldn't in fact deliver on the signed books, but that they'd provide signed book plates, which they did announce over uh, Twitter along with a couple of extra uh, updates on the initial uh, listing. Um, so then, about two weeks ago, the publisher said they're sorry, but they had been mis they had misinformed me, and I couldn't create any of the items I'd been planning. I was struck with shock, then nausea. Uh, they said I could only choose from a list of items that Nickelodeon slash Viacon had produced, and that they should have told me before I listed the box. And she says in brackets, of course, I'll say. Um, I asked to see this list of items. And it was a tedious, long process to draw out any information from them. After two weeks, they presented me with only three item choices. I told them I needed at least nine, because they marketed this box on the fact that they were going to supply nine items. Uh, now, obviously, a lot of that would have been what is effective, I suppose. Fan produced stuff with this for this box. Um... Uh, and obviously that's what they put out it's their mistake for allowing this to get to this point and saying oh yeah, yeah you can't do any unofficial stuff you can only do official stuff but she's stuck in this situation and all of them except one required minimum quantities way higher than I could meet so seeing as I cannot uh, I certainly cannot deliver you a box with a book and one item that I don't even like I'm left with no other option but to cancel this box you can imagine how frustrating and depressing this has been as I watched it all fall apart I had already put so much into this box, but beyond losing the time and money I already put into this, I am most of all sorry that I must deliver this news to you. Um, I hate disappointing people, especially you. I know how excited you all were. I, I, I hate it too. I hate letting you down, even though I know this was not my fault, but that the publisher, but but that of the publisher who admitted they gave me the wrong information. My initial uh, reaction was to have a soccer-like outburst, but I'm trying to handle this like Ang or Iro, if you know what I mean. To us, the Avatar crew are living, breathing characters. To the media companies, they are things to be owned and monetized. This is reality. Uh, anyone who has purchased this special edition box will receive a full refund. Uh, I will begin the cancellation slash refunds on Friday after I get off work and continue throughout the weekend. It's going to be quite a project as they all have to be done uh, one by one. Thanks for your patience as I process these. And again, my, apology, uh, my apologies, your loyal unicorn, Naomi. Uh, they do have a link at the bottom of their kind of listing here to um, where you can... You sign up, I suppose, effectively, you're registering your interest... For basically, if you would like to purchase just the book with a signed book book plate and a poster, um, so that's I think this this basically reveals to us that the items that Nickelodeon were offering, the only one that was um, reasonable for Unicorn Crate to actually get for this 
was a poster. Now, I assume the poster probably is just a Rise of Kyoshi poster, which I think they, they put out at some conventions last year just after it was announced. Um, I assume that's what it is. Um, so you can register your, your your interest if it's, I suppose, if they get enough of a response, they may offer that as a sort of special edition type thing of just book, sign, book, play, poster for a cheaper price. Uh, that it hasn't gone up yet or anything like that to purchase as far as I'm aware. But, uh, you know, I, I did register my interest with that because I would like a signed copy of this book if at all possible. But, wow, that is quite a read. Um, and it's... It's very, very interesting. I, I appreciate that they did just go out and put out the full details of all of this. And that they just are like, yeah, it wasn't their fault. It was Abram's books basically causing this. And then I suppose Nickelodeon not being the most uh, easy to deal with um, uh, on the kind of back end of things. And I, I don't know what exact way to interpret this. Other than it seems like here's Unicorn Cray trying to do this thing for the fans. Build up hype around the first ever Avatar novel by offering this loot crate that's going to have these cool kind of, you know, almost like fan made items and then maybe I suppose one or two official things. Great, you know, signed by the author. They didn't specify who'd be signing it, but I, I assume they get the names that are on the book. So it would be um, FCE and uh, Mike DiMartino. And that's great, you you know, at the very least you get, you know, one of the creators, you know, a signed piece of merchandise by the creators, and something official, that's great, plus the book. Great, this fan thing done by the, one of these kind of, like, up-and-coming sort of uh, book, kind of loot crate companies, and it seems like Abrams Books just maybe got a bit ahead of themselves on this, and said, yeah, Nickelodeon are all for this, you know, do whatever you want, work with whoever you want, it's fine. They then go ahead with like, oh, great, we got the get-go, we can do whatever we want, here's the plan, we're going to go all in on this, like, nine items, we want this to be like our best box ever, because uh, they know obviously Avatar is a popular franchise, you can tell that the person who runs this company is a huge Avatar fan, as you saw by the little references by the end, um, and they wanted to deliver a really cool um, crate, but... Then, like, after, I, I get the impression, like, this this thing sold out within, like, a week or two. Um, I checked a couple of weeks back, and, and you couldn't order it. I, I was glad I actually put in my order when I did. Uh, it, it had sold out. And it's, to me, just crazy that then they have to go back and be like, actually, you can't make any unofficial items for this, <laughs> contrary to what we said. You can only choose from a list of items they've you know, produced. And I think it's crazy the fact that she basically says here that, like, she had to ask to see those items. That, like, it, that wasn't immediately offered up. And then it was a tedious long process to get the information about what those items actually were. And then when that happened, they were like, oh yeah, to get these items you have to, I suppose the idea of that is um, all except one required minimum quantities way harder than I could meet so even though there's a lot of excitement around this uh box Nickelodeon were requiring orders of like an insane amount of whatever this merchandise was and only one of them was you know I suppose affordable I suppose effectively for her and the amount of hype around this box and she does say here that it was an item that she doesn't even like so I don't even know what that is in, in terms of like, are these items that already exist or were these going to be like newly produced items and then what were they? Because if it is just like official stuff like, okay, like there there's Rise of Kyoshi poster or something like that, like what else really could it have been? I, if it is just kind of like that paper stuff, then okay, Nickelodeon printing it themselves officially, but otherwise what is it? Because like, Nickelodeon don't really put out a lot of Avatar merchandise themselves, um, or at least make it clear that they do that, uh, especially since Core has been over for a while, we haven't really seen much of that at all, so I don't know what the specifics behind that are, but it just, to me, seems crazy, and, and, and ultimately, I suppose, the pressure, the, the, the idea in all of this is that, like, okay, there's maybe some business reason why, like, okay, you can understand 
to a degree from Nickelodeon's perspective of like why they would specify that the numbers have to be that high and that they can't do anything. But all in all, who loses out in this? It is ultimately the fans. Here's this box that suddenly we can't get anymore effectively because Nickelodeon were unwilling to sort of negotiate or do something for the fans in all of this and it's perfectly fine for this thing to just be cancelled leave the creator of this box in just a crazy situation where like she actually says that you know she felt sick when she first heard about this news because she would put in all this planning and effort like hundreds potentially I suppose thousands of people order this thing and then you have to be like it can't work it, it cannot work because of mistakes from other people um it's it's a crazy situation um and i'm you know i, I obviously I'm, I'm disappointed about the the crate and it's not going to be a thing anymore but to me this is just like wow it's been a while since we've had a just you know beat up nickelodeon kind of situation and here's another one in that i think the big thing that i think most avatar fans have at this point in time is like it, to, it seems that Nickelodeon is what's holding back the Avatar and Korra soundtracks from happening. And it, and, it, and I get the impression it's for like business reasons. Where like they don't think it would sell in the quantities that they feel it has to sell at. Uh, you know, they, they, they put out the Korra Book 1 soundtrack. And I think most fans are like, it actually did fairly well. Any sort of reasonable looking at it, like how well it sold, fine according to Nickelodeon it didn't sell all that well and that's why we didn't they didn't do any more and that's why nothing's happened with that stuff since now again without them being communicative about this we don't really know the full details but it seems like that's what's happening that they're unwilling to do something for the fans and here's another case of ultimately them sort of being unwilling to do something for the fans um now obviously what we don't know in all of this is um when it comes to Abrams books communicating to Unicorn Crate like were they led astray by Nickelodeon or like did they just assume some stuff like miscommunicate like based on what Nickelodeon had told them or was it actually Nickelodeon just like flat out changing their mind they were like yeah 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 they can do whatever they want to communicate that to them and then they were like wait 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 no 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 we can't do this and then they did it like obviously in one way it makes kind of abram's books look a little incompetent in another way it makes nickelodeon look absolutely terrible um ultimately in the end you know as as much as i suppose unicorn crate were primarily dealing with abram's books uh it seems like the decisions in the end the choices that they're all left with ultimately came down to unicorn crate dealing with nickelodeon um and it obviously didn't work out and yeah, that line, um, yeah, you know, to to us, the Avatar crew are living, breathing characters. To the media companies, they are things to be owned and monetized. This is a reality. So this is absolutely, you know, this situation of just Nickelodeon going full big business on this and not not being willing to effectively assist a kind of, you know, fun thing for the fans. Uh, and that just feels really, really bad. And when we're in a position where, like, I, th- I think most people would say that the franchise is kind of run in a weird way uh, when it comes to that side of things. Like, we're, we're just not really kept up to date with it. It's very unclear about, you know, what real direction there necessarily is about the future of a lot of stuff with the, the franchise going forward with regards to, you know what Nickelodeon did like at the end of Korra's run uh, when it came to like budgets and stuff like that yet they still regarded as one of their like you know you know most highly lauded you know series yet they treat it like garbage um they seem to gain success based on the fact that they do sort of license it out and because it's such a well-loved franchise the people they license it out to do everything they can with it. and that's why like the dark horse comics are so well done is because you know obviously dark horse know what they have and uh, i'm not sure how much of that's on nickelodeon necessarily um and it's the same with a lot of other stuff in that oh abram's books i'm sure they've done a great job with the you know publishing side of dealing with this avatar book but here's something that has just gone completely completely wrong 
Um, now, ultimately, does it affect my thoughts on the book at all? No, not really at all. Because, you know, while the publisher may have made a mistake, it's got nothing to do with the content of that book. It's got nothing to do with the writers or anything like that. Um, I'm still super excited for the book. It's just unfortunate that this other thing that was going to make the book's release even more interesting is now gone for crazy reasons. I I hope I hope there is a chance for this to happen again. I I hope that uh, there is a lot of interest in the book with the signed book plate and the poster, and that can be a thing so that we can get that at the very least. Uh, and then maybe for the second Rise of Kyoshi book, maybe things can be communicated better or something can happen. I'm not sure. Um, I'd like to know. Uh, like, I, I wouldn't blame Unicorn Crate if they just didn't want to work with them again, given what happened. But I, I'd like to see something like that happen just from a fan perspective, in terms of, like, a, a, a fully Avatar-focused kind of Loot Crate type thing, I think could be very cool. But if if you're if, if Nickelodeon are going to do stuff like this, it's kind of very, very difficult to um, see much positives in. So, um... I think that's most of what I want to talk about here. Um, there's There's been no other news or anything like that. Uh, this just, I felt like, wow. Almost more than a lot of like smaller pieces of news. This is something that we need to talk about here. Uh, because it probably gives us our biggest insight into kind of the way the, the, the franchise, the property is run. Um, just to see something like this. Unicorn Crate, which from what I can understand, is a very, a fairly well-respected company. Given that a lot of Loot Crate companies can, their reputation can tank, uh, like, actual Loot Crate, uh, you know, that company, uh, are a mess right now. And, like, nothing's on time, from what I can see, and and so on. Uh, Yet, it seems like some of these book crates, including Unicorn Crate, actually are, get good reviews, you know, people like them, they do a good job. And so um, it's frustrating that something like this that's being well run is just messed up at this opportunity to do something really, really cool by Nickelodeon and Abrams books just kind of miscommunicating all over the place. Um, and yeah, and, and the end result is that like, yeah, the, the us fans don't get something that could have been really cool, like a, a wall scroll by a pretty cool avatar artist and all this other sort of stuff. And, and yeah, like, um, you know, I suppose she mentions, you know, like, uh, losing the time and money. Like, I, like I, I'd love to know kind of, like, how much money did she lose? And are Nick or Abrams Books doing anything to, like, make up for what's happened here at all? I, I really would like to know. It's their mistakes that have caused this to happen. Um, it's probably stuff that she would, maybe wouldn't want to say publicly, but, like, Wow. <laughs> this was quite the read quite the read um so in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this because i i was a little bit speechless like especially when i got to that bit like i read it out like two or three times already you know you know to us they're living breathing characters to media companies they're things to be owned and monetized it's just like mic drop uh in terms of this, the, the the situation here with that one i was just like yikes this is this is a situation we're in right now so let me know what your thoughts are on this um and what you think happened here um but uh, yeah this has been the video thanks for watching and bye